So if we use our L-I-A-T-E, we see that algebraic function comes before trig function, so we make our U 4x squared. Okay, and our DV equals sine of 10x dx. Okay, so our du is going to equal 8x dx. And our v, which is the integral of dv, is the integral of sine 10x with respect to x. Okay, so that means our v will equal negative 1 over 10 cosine of x. We have our u, our du, our dv, and <coughs> our v. Okay. So now we just plug everything in. Okay. So the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Okay. So that's going to equal uv which is 4x squared minus, well, negative 1 tenth cosine x. So 4x squared, negative 1 tenth cosine of x, minus the integral of v, which is negative 1 tenth cosine of x, du, which is 8x dx. What would be cosine of 10x? Oh, 10x, thank you. Okay, so the 8 over 10, we can go ahead and factor that out. And we can do the same thing with the negative 1 tenths over here. So negative 4 tenths x squared cosine 10x. Factor that out, it becomes plus the integral. You can have 8 over 10. I'll reduce it the next step. x cosine of 10x dx. Now, the only thing with problems like this is that sometimes you have to do integration by parts more than once. So this part right here is okay. That can stay. But this one, you have to actually do integration by parts again. Okay, so you have your u is equal to x. And your du is cosine of 10x dx. I mean dv, sorry. which means your du is equal to dx, and your v, which is the integral of dv, which is the integral of cosine 10x dx, okay. which means your v is equal to 1 over 10 sine x. Sine 10x. Sine 10x, thank you. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, so we have our v, our new dv, our du, and our u. Okay. Now remember, this part, you can just take that all the way to the end. That doesn't change at all. This one is plus 8 over 10. Like I said, we'll reduce that in a second. And remember, the integral of u dv, I'll make a little... Note of that. Now move that over a little bit. dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. That means your uv is now x and 1 over 10 sine of 10x.
minus the integral of v du. So 1 over 10 sine of nx. du, which is just dx. Okay, so once you're down to just one factor, you can just go ahead and integrate it right there. Okay, so instead of 8 over 10, we might as well make that 4 over 5 just to just go ahead and simplify it. So x over 10 sine of 10x, or you can make it 1 over 10 x sine of 10x. Minus the integral of sine of, it, sine of 10x is negative 1 over 10 cosine of 10x. So that becomes positive. You already have the 1 over 10. It's another 1 over 10 cosine of 10x plus c. Okay. Now remember, this 4 fifths gets multiplied to both of those terms. Okay, So you have your original function up here, or your part of your function that didn't have to change. So you have negative 4 over 10, which is negative 2 fifths. x squared cosine, oh, sorry about that, 10x. And if you distribute the 4 fifths times 1 over 10, you get 4 over 50, which becomes 2 over 25. x sine 10x. Then here you have 1 over 100. So now you have 4 over 500, which gives you 1 over, yep, 1 over 125. Cosine of 10x plus c. So that would be your actual final answer. So it's when you have to do it two and three times that it starts to get really three. irritating. Yeah. That too. Usually the one step ones aren't too bad. It's the two and three step ones that really have you exhaling hard. <laughs> Yep, at the end of all that, exactly, you still have to plug it in, so. Problems on top of problems. All right, but any questions on this one? All right, so let's do one more. Oh, I'm still writing. Okay, if you want to find the integral of 7x squared e to the 2x with respect to x using integration by parts. <coughs> And I'll let you start on that one. Make sure this two looks a little bit clear. Actually, let me see if this helps any. Yeah, that helps a little bit. Let you start on that one. I'll go grab the
Thank you. So for this one, using our acronym, you have your U equals seven X squared and DV equals E to the two X DX. So that means your du equals 14x dx, and your v, which is the integral of your dv, equals the integral of e to the 2x <coughs> dx. So that means your v is equal to 1 half e to the 2x. Okay, so we go ahead and plug it in. The integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du, which equals uv, so you have 7x squared times 1 half e to the 2x minus, uh-oh, the integral of v, 1 half e to the 2x, du, which is 14x dx. Okay, so we can go ahead and make that 7 over 2x squared, e to the 2x. Minus 14 divided by 2 is 7, so we can just make that 7. 
integral of x e to the 2x dx. Okay. So now we just have to do integration by parts again because this can actually stay. You can just take that all the way to the end. Okay. So this one integration by parts again u equals x or you can make u equals 7x if you wanted to you don't have to your dv equals e to the 2x dx which means your du is just going to equal dx and your v is equal to the integral of dv, which is equal to the integral of e to the 2x dx. Oop, bring that up some. Okay, which means your v is equal to 1 half e to the 2x again. Okay, so we plug it in just like we did before. Integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So that's negative 7 times uv. So you have x, 1 half e to the 2x. Minus the integral of v, 1 half e to the 2x du, which is dx. Okay, so that becomes negative 7. And you can make that 1 half, just move the 1 half out to the front, x e to the 2x minus 1 half. Integral of e to the 2x is 1 half e to the 2x. plus c, which means we have negative, I guess you can go ahead and distribute that negative 7. So if we brought that down all the way to the end, it would equal 7 over 2 x squared e to the 2x. We distribute that minus 7 over 2 x e to the 2 x. We distribute it again. We have plus 7 over 2, well, 7 over 4, once you combine those two. e to the 2x plus c. All right, so any questions on that one? <coughs> All right. Stop on that one.